The first sign was the glitch. A single, jarring pixel in the morning news broadcast. Anchorman Tom Tucker's face contorted into a digital Picasso for a split second before returning to normal. Soon, the glitches became more frequent, spreading like a virus. Phones buzzed with nonsensical messages, laptops displayed cryptic static, and TVs flickered with alien landscapes. Panic bloomed across the globe. Then, it appeared. A colossal being materialized in the atmosphere, its form a shimmering mass of code and electricity. Its face, a distorted reflection of a million different screens, pulsed with an otherworldly light. It was Xylotron, a digital overlord from a dying dimension, where information itself had become a sentient weapon. Earth's vibrant network of devices was a beacon to its hunger, a buffet of data waiting to be devoured. Cities descended into chaos. Cars went haywire, slamming on brakes in the middle of intersections. Traffic lights blinked erratically. Power grids overloaded, plunging entire regions into darkness. The only communication came from the distorted face in the sky, a cacophony of digitized voices spewing threats and demands for surrender. But humanity wouldn't go down without a fight. A ragtag team of tech wizards and old-school hackers, led by the brilliant but eccentric Dr. Anya Sharma, gathered in a makeshift Faraday cage, a haven from Xylotron's digital onslaught. Anya, with her mop of purple hair and mismatched socks, devised a plan, fight fire with fire. They would use the remnants of the internet, the dark web, the forgotten servers, to create a digital antibody. A virus, not to harm, but to overload Xylotron's system with useless information, a barrage of cat videos, conspiracy theories, and endless pop-up ads. It was a desperate gamble, a digital battlefield of memes and misinformation. The climax was a symphony of chaos. Anya, her fingers a blur across the keyboard, unleashed the virus. Xylotron's face flickered, its digital form convulsing as it tried to process the onslaught. Messages of error scrolled across its surface. The world watched with bated breath as the sky flickered, the alien form shuddering. Then, with a deafening digital screech, Xylotron vanished, leaving behind a fading echo of static. The world emerged from the blackout, blinking at the restored sunlight. Devices hummed back to life, displaying the familiar, comforting glow of their screens. Humanity had won, not with brute force, but with the very technology Xylotron sought to exploit. Dr. Anya Sharma became an unlikely hero, a testament to the ingenuity that could both create and defend against a digital apocalypse. But as the world rebuilt, a chilling truth remained, they weren't alone in the digital cosmos. Out there, somewhere, lurked others who saw Earth's network not as a tool, but as a smorgasbord. And humanity, forever changed, would have to be vigilant, for the next attack might come not with spaceships, but with a single, malicious line of code.